What's going on everybody? It's the Bourbon Hunter. We're here doing the most requested video yet. I'm so excited to be in Myrtle Beach today. We're gonna go do as many stores as possible. There's quite literally thousands of stores here. It is insane. Different store picks, different owners. And we're gonna go dig up the best honey holes for the people like you that vacation in Myrtle Beach or come here once in a blue moon like me. Guys, I'm so excited to show you around Myrtle Beach today. We got 16 locations picked out that we're gonna drop into and see what they have to offer. Let's go check out number one. First up is Kabesh, Kabosh, Calabash, ABC. Here in North Carolina, just a little hop over the border to come see what an actual ABC store looks like. And then we're gonna go run through all 15 stores in Myrtle Beach and see exactly what they have to offer for all you tourists out there. All right, we're here inside my first ABC store that I've ever been in. This is uh, just over the South Carolina border, and they got tons of different bottles here that you typically have a hard time finding in South Carolina. The uncut, unfiltered, and look at this. Old Overholt Cast Strength 10-Year Rye Whiskey. A limited release, $100. So all these have to be like a state-controlled price. They're not allowed to put up different prices. So it's quite interesting what you What's run into. On, this store is absolutely huge though. I mean, look at this bourbon wall. It goes all the way down and back. Kind of impressed. They got these bookers and toasted. 55 bucks, that's all it is. I paid $100 for one of these one time. I got absolutely scammed, but that's all right. That's why we are here to learn. Look at these Larceny Barrel Proofs, Heaven Hill. All these are fantastic prices. Obviously they have to be, but really cool. And check this out, a little Bardstown Discovery 11, $139 all the way back. I believe that is very close to MSRP. That is an insanely good bottle. Look at all of this good juice inside this blend. Bardstown's truly some of the best in blending along with Barrel Company. So good. You got Jack Daniel Single Barrel Rise, which are some of the best in the business. These barrel proof ryes are insane. Every single one's different. They're all single barrels. Phenomenal whiskey. If you see them for this price, just grab them all day. Thankfully, I have two at the house, so I'll leave that one there. Three of the best bottles on the shelf at any liquor store. These three, incredible bottles. You got the new Traveler and 60 bucks for a freaking huge bottle of Sazerac. So, you know, it's state controlled, right? But look over here. Look at this little section, all sectioned off. 40 bucks after tax, out the door, $40. I don't know if you see this hiding over here. C923 coming in at $74 a bottle. 75 bucks a bottle, C923. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's the laser code? What's the laser code? A two three. Who cares? Who cares? First stop and I'm already buying a bottle. I'm gonna give this away to a buddy and then we're gonna give one of these away as well. I feel like it's kind of a mistake to leave this bottle here. 121 proof 10 year old overholt. I just, I don't know anything about it. So let me know if I made a mistake leaving this here. We're only one store into our like 16 or 15 store trip today and we already got Eagle Rare and C923 Elijah Craig. Don't worry, both of these are going to friends. They're just gifts. I'm not keeping them, but I left plenty in there for the locals. That way everybody's happy. On to the next stop. Stop number two down here at Sea Mountain Liquor, right next to the big hotels and stuff, right in the heart of North Myrtle. We're gonna go see what they have inside. Uh, seems like a pretty big store, so. Here, looking at this crazy bourbon wall they got. They got so many different options. It's incredible, actually. Some of the bottles that released years ago are still here, sitting on the shelf. BEP was a great release, as well as the Retrospect. I don't know if any of y'all have had this Retrospect yet, but that was one of my top bottles that I got recently. It's incredible. Look at that, that's a good price on the limited edition Maker's Mark 46 bottle. I love the shape of those. Toasted and barrel proof, B522. That's an incredible price on C921. That's probably one of the best releases from Larceny that they've had in recent memory. Man, these are good. 
Got a little buffalo trace hiding down here on the shelf. That's about going rate right for this area. Knob Creek 18, 15, 12 year, single barrel, barrel proof. And look at that, decadence. One of the one of the better bottles to be aged in maple barrels. That's an incredible bottle. Bur barrel New Year. This is actually one that I probably would have bought last week if I didn't find one myself. Single barrel, 1792. What a great bottle. Let's see if I can't drop that there. Never seen this redemption before. 150 bucks for nine year barrel proof. How about that? Those are weird shaped bottles, that's for sure. High West Cast Strength, Campfire, and all the Calumets you can look for. And by looking, you got some Penelope Valencia here and the old Ezra's, which are really good. And everybody's looking for this bottle right here. Old Forester, 10 year old, 1924. Yep. Wow, you got some crazy bottles back here. I've been looking for for ages. Yeah, yeah, these are the crazy ones. <laughs> Van Winkle 23, 20. Are you mad? 15, The Rye, WLW, George T, and Thomas Handy. Wow, that's the new liter bottle that hit the market. Single barrel, wow. A little E.H. Taylor single barrel back there too. Blanton's Barrel Proof E.H. Taylor, small batch, straight from the barrel, wow. That's the 129 proof one too, wow. We got a Old Fitz, the Decanter Series. Midwinter, one of my favorite bottles. Weller 107, which I know a lot of people that paid 200 bucks for. Heavy char aged 11 years. What is that? Parker's Heritage. Wow. That is last year's release of Four Roses. How about that? Some more Parker's Heritage. I'm still on the hunt for one of these, man. They're, they're insane. Four Roses, 2022. Look at that Sam Houston right there, too. Sam Houston. I've been looking for the eight. I've heard it's really good this year. Eight year old Fitzgerald. 10 year for 400. Oh, of course, the birthday bourbon. Oh, the birthday bourbon. Yep. Yep. Incredible bottles all around. Stag back there. Which one you got? 132 proof. That's the 22A. Van Winkle, Lot B. Jack 10 and 12. I bet this is an expensive one, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Elmer Teeley. Yep. A lot of people are looking for that bottle for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's it, it used to just sit on the shelves, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'd love to have one of these to put like some other stuff in when it's finished because it's just a beautiful it's a nice bottle. bottle. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yes, man. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Sea Mountain Spirits, right here, and about typical for this area i'm still trying to find that little honey hole that's got store picks and a lot of other different bottles laying around that are a little bit more reasonable for my liking i would love to find some bottles that are a little bit more in my price range so on to stop number three stop number three baby liquor library beautiful looking store let's go see what they got i really like the like decorations that just draws it all together because you gotta think these almost look like books yeah, especially with the scotches with the, uh, the With the boxes, boxes yeah. <laughs> I just saw the name of the Woodford store paint called the publication. Oh, yeah. Dude, y'all are so clever. I love that. That was actually also her idea. Well, man, tell me a little bit about the library, the liquor library. Well, like you said, not really sure where the name came from. We've only been around for about, I think, three years this April. Okay. So we're fairly new to the game. There's a lot of old guys around. Uh, it's been around for a long time, so we're kind of one of the new newbies. Uh, but you see, we specialize in whiskeys. Yeah, man. Or scotches, Irish, bourbon. 
Y'all do store picks, right? Yeah, I got six of them, I think, right now. The mm -hmm. first was the Woodford. Uh, so it's just a Woodford Reserve, and it's kind of like you can kind of choose your own badge. It's publication. Um, there's actually quite a bit of variance to those. I was surprised when going through mm -hmm. the sampling. Um, I quite liked it. I mean, it's simple. We have some uh, usuals that come and get that quite often. Yeah. Um, as you know, Woodford, it's just solid all around. It's yeah. nothing really overly challenging, but it's just always has the spot. These are always really good. And first of all, it's a liter, right? So that's yep. what people don't realize. It's like 55 bucks. Okay. But it's actually a liter and they're really good. So I completely agree with that. A lot of the Woodford picks are really good. I like what they're doing and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I think the port cast probably was my favorite. This is cast strength. So kind of got me hooked there. That's 120 proof. I mean, that's pretty good. It's good, and what I tell a lot of people also, I'm, especially when you get the cash drink, for some reason everybody just wants to just take it to the face. <laughs> 120 something brew. <laughs> but I tell people, don't be afraid to add water to stuff. I mean, don't flood it with water and just completely dilute it, but it's fun to play around with it just because so it brings out more flavors. Yep. I mean, everybody knows these now. Oh, yeah. These are always good. Oh, they're incredible, aren't they? Um, Especially for the price. But this one, a little bit of water is fantastic. Yeah, what's this one coming in at? 123? Yeah, nice. 23.8. Liquor Library Publication. Love it. Got all the old elks available. It kind of was something out of the Knob Creek to where all the samples were like so good, but kind of similar, like there's very small variances. Yeah. To where these had crazy variances. Really? And yeah, I had one that pretty much tastes like a rye to me, which I enjoy rye. Um, but it's it, a bourbon, so yeah, you're so, probably like, that's a little off profile for them. It seemed a little off profile, and then there was two, like two or three other ones. We went with this one. We actually did a blind tasting, me and the owner, and we actually ended up picking the same one. Yeah. Uh, we actually thought it was the lower proof one. It ended up being the highest proof one for us to get. They gave you like all the details that you asked for. Like it's almost six years old. They gave me the mash bill. They even told me we're in the rick house. Even told me how much was lost in Angel. And share. they distill it themselves. I think it's Green River. I think would be my guess. Okay. Um, I don't think they just do their own distillation anymore, or not yet. Okay. Uh, because I think it's made in Kentucky, but crafted in Memphis. Yeah. Okay. I think early on, I think they were sourcing from what is now Green River. Are these your Ezra Brooks picks down here, or are those? No, those are those are like the state picks. Oh, I hadn't seen these. South Carolina state picks for Ezra Brooks. Stiller's collection, whatever that is. I had a bunch of four roses single barrel barrel fruits at one time they're all gone though oh those man quick. they were picked for the state of south Carolina. yeah like those 10, are 11 years old those are really good yeah stellum coming down in price look at that that's a great deal actually winter special huh well it's about to be a spring special <laughs> spring special too <laughs> um it's kind of another one they're actually by my understanding getting rid of stellum uh i think it was just bad marketing about barrel but by this, my understanding, the foundations are taking that over. You're saying that this is about to take over Stellum? By my understanding, I think Stellum, Bourbon, like the whole Stellum range is going to be discontinued. Really? Because we got a crazy price on this. That's like half price for yeah. the glass. Um, and, and these are just getting crazy. I mean, there's so many good ones that they make. They're so good at blending. Might be the best, best buy in the store. It's a 16 year gray label. That's a hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Wait, why are you selling it for so cheap? Kind of the same reason we're selling that cheap. And it's just, they kind of gave us a, a good, deal. good deal. So we threw it back. Well, don't tell me that. Um, you shouldn't have pointed this out to me, man. You know, how, you, you said you've watched some of my videos, right? I've watched a few of them, yeah. Yeah, so you know how bad I am at saving money. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you go around shopping bourbon all day. It's oh, it's hard. terrible for you, isn't it? I was like, a hundred bucks is my uh, budget for this trip. Wow. Wow. You're telling me this is $100, huh? $100. Bucks, uh, it's 133 proof 16 year old. 133 proof 16 year. Oh, all right. That's, that's, that's coming on with me. All right. I think this <laughs> is the only other store pick I haven't pointed out to you yet. So the that's actually our newest one. It's a bullet bullet single bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are great. I think um, these are ones that people kind of put their nose up to because they just think of the, the standard bullet. Yeah. Did, did you see the one that I did where I talked to the guy about the jackfruit yeast strain that he had? Is that this or no? No, so this is the strawberry one. One of our samples was the jackfruit. Okay. Um, it actually, so we had multiple people try it, like with all our samples of the bullet. Mm -hmm. 
think the jackfruit actually finished last for everyone with ours. I don't know <laughs> if it's just the, the batch. I was excited for that one because when I saw that, that yeast thing, I was like, oh. It's completely that. different, yeah. Um, I thought I would like it more. Uh, even knowing it was, I wasn't crazy. And even throwing it into the blind to kind of see what everything would score, it, it was dead last for like everyone. Really? That's, that's insane. Um, but we went low rye. Uh, their low rye mash. We mm. went the, I think it's E3, which is a strawberry yeast. Yeah. It's very fruity. Very fruity. And I think it's around six years old by what I was told by them. Six year old. They weren't as quick to respond as uh, Blue Note was. I think Blue Note responded immediately. I think I waited a week and a half. Yeah, I mean, they gave you this little thing. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's like it's a whole barrel. It's unauthentic, right? Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> weird. Oh, that's cool. We want the barrels. They don't always send you the barrel. What? You, you have to like ask for them. So Knob Creek, good luck getting that barrel. Yeah, well, I, I can only imagine they pump out so many of those. And then I imagine they probably send them over to uh, Laphroaig or Glengarry or something else. Just like getting like like ones. lost in can, translation. They can reuse that barrel. Disappeared. The 10 year? Yep. You just can't find it? I think it's becoming alligated now. No way. Man, I've, I've don't been tell ordering, me that, man. I've been ordering three cases since november what and haven't seen it dude y'all stop buying my russell's reserve 10 year apparently it's getting hard to come by stop buying it it's I mine imagine maybe they're sending it to maybe bar accounts or something since we don't operate bars it kind of i really don't want to be in that business but i think it kind of hurts what we get as far as allocation it, it, it could yeah it's, it's way it's, more work than it's worth i used to work for a distributor for working here and Okay, so you understand the... It's a mess. Yeah. And there ain't much... There's not much benefit. No, I don't think so. Unless you're already established. Man, these old sold tin types are incredible. And you got them for a really good price. I think a couple stores ago, they were extremely expensive. I've had this one. Have not had this one. The nine year. Um, they're okay. good. I, if people like that, I can see, but the price point's hard for me too. Right, yeah. Because, I mean, what we just said, ten year, $10 per a year... And you're seven at 141. So, because I mean, I imagine this is great. I think this is a nine year, yeah, nine year, $180. That's I'm tough. Sure, I'm sure it's delicious, but $180. Like I, said, I like scotch as well. I can buy a, a Glen Grant 18 for 150. Wow. Have me. Yeah, you could Chick fil A money after or something. Oh, uh, I really love the Redwood Empire stuff. Have you had their rocket top before? I haven't had the rocket top. I think the only one I've had is uh, the Emerald Giant. Oh, that's incredible. But this one's my favorite, just all around go to. It's a three year minimum, thirty nine dollars blend of both of these. So it's a burr rye. Okay. It's outstanding. It is outstanding. I love it. And then obviously the smoke wagons are really good. Uncut and filter is the one everybody's looking for. And then new to South Carolina, new riff. Love it. Sixty four bucks. These have sold out everywhere in Charleston, so I'm kind of surprised you still got them. I bought like five cases of it whenever it dropped. <laughs> you got a lot of them. Um, it took about what eight years for this to finally come to South Carolina. Yeah, it's I don't been know a why while. it took so long. I guess just getting through a distributor. Oh, that's pretty so, cool. Uh, in the watch signal, so when an officer, and I think they donate money to. Yeah, what fifty? Who have lost probably fifty one, bucks one, after tax. Yeah, that's that's a cool way to do it. I like that. Yeah, I've like never them. had it before, but we do tastings occasionally with them. Um, and again, I, I don't know what it's about most of the newer distilleries. I always enjoy their rye more in their bourbon. I have a video that I haven't posted yet where I actually toured this entire distillery and did a tasting at the Virginia Distillery Company. They're making good stuff. Like some of their stuff is okay, but a lot of their stuff is really good. And I'm super excited to see this one up here because I haven't seen anybody do a single barrel with them in South Carolina. So that's really unique. Got a little rare perfection. This is their allocated section behind the counter. So let's see what they got. McKenna 10, Toasted, Elijah Craig 18. These are really good. I keep talking about them. Don't sleep on them. Tucky Owl, 15 year widow Jane, which aren't being made anymore. That's really cool to see. What is this? Straight bourbon whiskey from Orphan Barrel, 18 year. What about that? Parker's Heritage, man. Still looking for one of those at MSRP. I don't know if I'll ever find it. Crazy bottles. 2XO Gem of Kentucky, barrel 37. I got the same one at the house. I can honestly say this is worth every dollar. It's really good. 
Got the barrel up here that I'm taking home with me. And all the other allocated stuff they got. Crazy bottles, crazy good. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, another good bottle. And the Blue Runs that I don't know a ton about, but hey, worth learning one day. Got Jack 10 and 12, 175 and you said 250? Yeah. 10 and 12, there you go. If you want it, that's where they're at. Oh no, it's a 700 milliliter. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> In pavilion, I mean that's 25 hours. Manager was super cool. The library was stacked full. Got my barrel seagrass, barrel proof 16 year whiskey. So excited to have that. On to the next stop. What's going on guys, it's the Bourbon Hunter. Sorry I had to interrupt the video, but this is well worth it. We have six bottles of 13th Colony, 15 year anniversary cast strength, 139 proof whiskey how you can get it you got to come to pooler package down here i try and put you on as many deals as i can and this is a big one because every bottle that you buy from 13th colony at the store gets you an additional entry the first 100 people get an entry into this six bottles 100 people that's pretty good odds i put my name in stop number four pavilion liquor Let's go. These are all of Pavilion store picks. They got Yellowstone sitting pretty at 102 proof, a little lower proof than normal. The 110 proof Angel's Envy. Heaven's Door at a higher proof, 127 proof. Love these picks. 59.99. Dang, these are good. Those are really good bottles, I bet. $98 for a 116 proof whistle pig 10. I bet that's actually exciting. I wish I had the budget for that today. What else do they have? Man, $74.99 for the Pavilion Maker's Mark. These Maker's Mark picks just don't miss. They're always really good, and they're so customizable. Really good price on Sazerac Rye here. $94.99 for a Floor 3 Warehouse H. 124 proof barrel from Elijah Craig. Nine year. All the years are going down. They're getting younger and younger. Keep an eye out. This is really cool. So if y'all don't know, single barrel bourbon, Firefly. Y'all didn't know, but Firefly actually uses Buffalo Trace mash and is aged in Charleston. Sure enough, they're, they're exceptional. Exceptional distillery. I really like everything that they're doing. See, I don't know if anybody's had any of these Thomas S. Moores, but which one's the best one to get? I've heard a good thing from different people and some bad stuff from other people but which one of these is actually the best and they're all about the same price man they still got these single barrels from new riff everywhere up here i can't believe that they haven't sold out yet b523 that's an incredible bottle for a good price too and a lot of the other regular shelf stuff this is actually a local brand i've not had yet but it's made just up here in the myrtle beach area for a reasonable price double oak actually finished with the french oak spiral oh, i bet that is pretty good actually love to try that if you haven't gotten this single barrel from high cotton yet you're missing out 46.99 they make good stuff that's actually the cheapest i've seen anita's choice like ever that's a really good price for it Updated daily. Items are currently in our back warehouse. Available at one bottle per type per family per day. All the way down. This is a lot of allocated stuff. There it is. Let's just be a tater for a second. Buffalo Trace, $33.99. On to the next one. Stop number five here at Windy Hill. If y'all don't know, I only have five hours left because South Carolina liquor stores close at 7 p.m. It's two o'clock, so let's go see what they have to offer. Yeah, this is this is selling good too. New Riff. The New Riff? Yeah, those are good. Yep. $84.99 for B522. And look at that. That's the liter bottle. $4.99. $279 for midwinter. It's definitely not the worst I've seen in town. B522, and then he said Blanton's is, how much you said Blanton's was? 169.99 for Blanton's here. Check that out. Decent little selection here at this stop. Now y'all gotta tell me about this, cause I saw this down here. 
Am I missing out by not buying this? Look at the shape of the bottle. How about that? 115 proof rye single barrel from Knob Creek, but it's a weird shape. Is this one of their older ones? I wonder. What do y'all know about Journeyman Distillery? Silver Cross, Last Feather, not a King Rye, Featherbone whiskey. Interesting way they do their wax too. Y'all tell me if you've had this before. I've seen this bottle before. <laughs> That's an interesting, interesting bottle right there. Honestly, has a very impressive bourbon selection down this entire store. I mean, this entire wall is bourbon all the way down. It's got a lot of different products here. This is probably one of the best gift sets to give somebody because it comes with two other coasters that are in the bottom that are labeled with Maker's Mark. And obviously this, and obviously this is a really good bottle too. All right, on to the next stop. Stop number six, I think. I don't know. Let's go see what Arrowhead has. Another new Rift single barrel. Check that out. Your typical stuff and you got Heaven Hill and Willet single barrel, Russell's. A123, 76.99, not bad. What y'all know about these 10 cups? Are they worth picking up? Especially the 10 years, a 10 year good one to grab? I'm telling you, I'm loving these limited edition Maker's Mark 46 cast strength bottles. This is one of the best Maker's products that they make. And that's in the old bottle. So that's really cool to see. South Carolina Select. Sweet. It's a neat little shop. Everything seems appropriately priced too. Yeah. That Darius Rucker picture just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's just hanging out over there. A guy in the Discord named Riley Tesla sent me some samples. And I was like, yeah man, send me some cool samples and stuff. He sent me like literally every Penelope that he had in a sample bottle. I got nothing but Penelope samples from this guy. So I will try them in the Discord and let everybody know what I truly think. How do y'all typically handle like your allocated stuff? Just um, like your Buffalo Trace and all that that you get in. If we get it, we usually keep it back here. Back there? But we haven't gotten any. You haven't gotten any recently? I got you. Cool deal. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a good day now. All right, that's a neat little shop. I like it. Really just nice people all around. So on to the next one. All right, stop number seven. Let's go see what they have. That's better than Blackberry Crown. It, it, it's comparable. Is it's, it better? What is this? It's just Steel Feathers Blackberry Whiskey. And it's just as good as... And we're having a tasting here. I wish you had been here on the day we're having the tasting. <laughs> yes, the guy said that to me. I'm like, oh no, because I like Blackberry Crown yeah. when I got it. And I don't like flavored crowns. How much are these? These are $38.99. $38.99. So oh, no, 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 no. This is cheaper. Hold on. No, this I was about is $10 say, cheaper. I've never heard of this. So this... This product right here is made by Firefly, so is this one. I've tried the American whiskey. It's it's definitely not my favorite. But but this young lady over here is telling me that these flavored whiskeys from them are just as good. And Firefly has been bought, I believe, by Sazerac. So not, not surprised this product is on the shelf, but I'm a little surprised that she's throwing shade at the Blackberry crown and saying this is better i will take anything that's made in south carolina over other stuff though i will say that how about that how much are these 22.89 22.89 that's actually a really good price for something like this huh all right where are you from i live in charleston i live like 15 minutes from that distillery okay i've done videos for them and stuff right. in the past but do you know tim uh-huh. Tim, Tim's the one that... He, he came up here. here and did that? He did, and he, he oh, said, taste it. He goodness. said, pour it and taste it. See, he didn't have that when I was there. I guess they were working on it. That... He took me around and um, showed me, but I never ended up posting that video just because I didn't like the way it, it turned out. My production quality was terrible and had bad audio. And oh, okay. I was like, I need to go back and redo it at some point. Now, I mean, but that, we don't have any allocated stuff. We got four cases of that, and it was gone in a day. Of the blackberry. Yep, <laughs> that's so funny. People are jumping over the moon for that, and it's not that good. Well, no, and that's, <laughs> that's why when this one tasted, I thought it ended a lot smoother. But the same thing happened to the peach two years and I, ago. This you with unsweet get, tea. Oh yeah. Don't get me started. There that's a good summer drink, right well, there. Well, when peach first came out, you couldn't get it. 
Yep, you're right. And then we couldn't get it, we couldn't get it. Now we have so much of it, it's like, it was, oh, now we want Blackberry. All right, Smoke Wagon Small Batch and the Younger, as well as the Larceny Barrel Proof. It's really nice, actually. Really nice stuff. Heaven Hill for $53. Wow. That's an incredible price for that. So you get to see different prices around different shops and stores in town. South Carolina Select. I mean, all these are really good bottles that they have. They even got the 18-year Knob Creek. This is the old label of Double Rye. It's actually a really good bottle. I love this product from High West. I don't care if it's their rye or not, but $36 for the old label. How about that? So they just told me Blanton's here. First come, first serve. Whenever they get it, it's back there, $89.99. Strict price, probably best in town, but we're gonna go to the next store. See you there. You already know what time it is. Stop number eight, next to a Brazilian wax store. America. The bourbon selection in this store is very intense. Like they have an entire wall all the way down. All the bourbons and whiskeys. It's really nice. Probably like the cleanest store I've been in all day. Uncut, unfiltered for 74 bucks. You gotta think, different prices, different areas, but we are getting into the heart of Myrtle Beach now. 51 bucks, one of the better bottles on the shelf right over here. Look at that, 59.99, B523, Peerless, 10 year, Russell's Reserve. Man, they got it all. There you go, Jim of Kentucky, barrel number 36. That's interesting, we saw 37 earlier, so that's cool that they're getting different barrels. Actually, one of the guys in the Discord was just talking about this. He had a, he had like a tasting with the master distiller and he said each barrel is wildly different. So that's interesting to see that they're so different from different flavor profiles and different barrels. I got barrel number 37, barrel number 36. I assume it's probably good. Don't sleep on my boy Johnny Drum now or my, or my old granddad. Man, these are good bottles and they're just hiding down here on the shelf. Everybody's looking for the hard to find stuff. Both of those are really good bottles. Look at that. $569. Wow. That's probably the cheapest I've seen this. And this is batch 35. Wow, what an incredible bottle for such a good price. That's outstanding actually. Old fashioned cocktail syrup. Huh. That's pretty cool. All the calumets for you guys. Man, I'm, I'm really curious about this dovetail right here. Man, another good deal right here for the uh, Sazerac rye. There's your Henry McKenna. And of course, we gotta look for the tops, but I, I, I doubt they're out there anymore. I think they've been all swallowed up by all the bourbon hunters as the black cap early times. I bet those are gone. Still, two good things right there. Burning chair with their clear bottle that's, that's new uh, that. this is this is good stuff at least when I first started getting into bourbon this is what really helped that journey I don't want to have to have you move it and it fall or something crazy <laughs> yeah all right and here we go I don't know if y'all remember we saw this for a thousand dollars last weekend thousand dollars for this little guy Something good in a pig. That's so cool. I wonder I wonder how long that cork will last actually, since it's sideways the entire time. Because these things typically deteriorate when they're in contact with alcohol. Nose palette finish, orange peel, charred, red oak, tobacco, long spicy, toasted, hints of vanilla, spearmint, spice. How about that? There is your piggy bank rye from Whistle Pig. All in one little decanter. Very nice. 369 plus tax. Oh, you got some other cool things up there. What is that? Is that a how Burial old? Saint Nick. Burial like an eight Saint year Nick. blend. Eight year blend, cast yeah, cast we, crafted. We, we call this the poor man's pappy. The poor man's pappy, huh? It's a little bit more available. Yeah. Uh, it's about it's got the same cachet as Pappy, I guess. Faith, without, without conviction. Rude. Rye whiskey, American cask, 109 proof. From every other bottle I've held today, this one feels extremely light. <laughs> I finally got to hold on to a piggy bank rye. Um, a little expensive for my taste, but y'all let me know. Is that cork going to deteriorate over time with it being sideways like that? 
That's an interesting thing I've never thought about with that particular bottle. So let me know. On to the next store. Stop number nine, Owens. A lot of people have told me to come here. Let's go see what they have to offer. Yeah, she said this was $500 before they cut it in half down to $239. $499 is what they were charging for this. And of course, when you bourbon hunt all day, your microphone dies. So we're sitting here looking at a $4,000 bottle of Van Winkle 15, and then obviously all of these bottles down here. But the hardest thing to comprehend was this bottle of Heaven Hill 27 year. Yeah, you're right, $5,000 for a bottle of brown water. This one blew the wax out of my ears, literally right out uh, $1,300 for Blanton's Gold, which is roughly, I don't know, maybe a $120 bottle. And then this is the manager's stockpile where he keeps all of his little goodies. They have a Willet Purple Top, some Stags, some uh, Weller 12s, and then of course he has an unreleased Eagle Rare store pick that I'm sure won't be anywhere close to probably what it should be and then some of the coolest like little things i saw was this elijah craig golf bag like bottle holder wow. 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 all right stop number 10 harrison's liquor let's go see what they have this cruzan bottle yeah but that one is all hand blown glass i did not know that this was made local uh, cause I, uh, I think it's Carolina Beach or somewhere like that. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. The guy whose dad started it. Some of the best prices I've seen on Benchmark anywhere in town. These are some of the best, for sure. Single barrel is 100% worth the grab. So they got a Booker's and this Angel's Envy Cellar Collection. It has three different finishes with three different bottles. All of them are in here in these books very cool little display that they got never seen it before it must be new. Brand new it's got a nice little latch on it too look at this boom he was telling me they got their first ever official store pick woodford double oak coming in real soon late april or june june coming in in june it's going to sell out quick apparently so make sure y'all are here to get it i'll put this card up on screen Follow their Facebook to know when it drops. Super nice owners, wife, husband duo. They're killing it out here. Elijah Craig Toasted and typically Buffalo Traces sitting here. Heaven Hill, J.W. Kelly. Old Milford, 94 proof. What in the world is this? Chattanooga. It's a Tennessee, wait, bottled in Chattanooga. Okay, that's about to say, it can't be a... Man, I love seeing mom and pop shops that are just doing the, just doing their thing, man. That's awesome to see. On to the next store. Stop number 11. We're here. Beach Discount Liquors. With all the hotels in the background, we're getting deep into the heart of Myrtle Beach. Let's go see what they have. Check out this Baker 7 right here. One of the older age dated ones I've seen in a long time. Look at that. 2014 was when it was barreled. It's way over seven years for a good price, too. Gotta love those Baker 7s. Yeah. Freaking Jefferson's Singapore finished for 100 bucks. Man, Baker Drinks did a video on this, and they said it was outstanding. So I might have to get one one day, or maybe they'll send me a sample. Baker Drinks, I want a sample of this. Man, this store, a big box store. All the prices are perfectly in line. Look at that, B523. You've seen everything all over the place today, but these are pretty good. Look at that. $59.99. What else? Look at that toasted barrel right there. And they have a store pick. For literally the cheapest I've seen in Elijah Craig store pick all day. 125.5 proof. How about that? For all my Penelope bros, here you go. This is right next to the heart of Myrtle Beach. Look at that, another Heaven Hill bottom bond. These are everywhere. You know that, you've seen it all day. I've looked through every single one of these. I've opened them all. Can't find a slam dunk. It's ridiculous. This is the closest I got, was this one. 
We were so close to greatness. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. I need my fellow bourbon gurus to tell me all about this timber craft right here. 98, who makes it? Indiana straight bourbon. What is that? 60 bucks. Interesting. Oh, is that worth it, guys? Tell me about it. This is not worth it. I'm not a fan of Blade and Bow, even with the keys. I was so busy looking at this wall of bourbon because I've been in and out of stores all day. I didn't even see this over here. They got this entire single barrel selection, the will it rise, but it gets better. Look at this. Literally the best prices I've seen in town right here in the heart of Myrtle Beach. They just throw it up on the shelf from time to time. How about that? I didn't even see these over here. I was so busy looking at the other section and I was walking out and I just went, oh, I recognize that. 12-7-22 and it's an N for 85 bucks. Can't get better than that here in this part of town. Incredible, incredible find right there. All right, I'm gonna leave these here. I don't, I don't need them. We're gonna leave them here for the next guy. So good luck, <laughs> on to the next store. I always say don't judge a book by its cover. Shop number 12 is in a strip mall with a CBD store next to a, another CBD store. Let's go see what shop number 12, Ocean Liquors, has to offer. Yeah, well, I'm taking it home with me. Yeah, you're not that guy. No, no, I'm one of, I mean, I love it when, when I, I have them coming in and, you know, just seeing it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Now, I also have those bourbon hunters that come in or total, I don't know what to call them. No appreciation to it whatsoever. Yeah, they'll they'll give you a hard time, but don't listen to those guys. Those guys that come in and, and only ask about certain things, they're just they just make us look bad. Well I and I went out and I actually well a guy came in and he said, What do you have hiding behind the counter? I said, I don't have anything behind the counter. He went out and gave me a three star and didn't leave a counter. Yeah. Come on. What do you have hiding behind the counter? What do you have? I hope it wasn't one of y'all, but one of y'all came in here and asked this honest gentleman right here what was hiding behind the counter and look there ain't there ain't back here there's nothing behind the counter man i don't know what y'all were looking for and then he left them a bad review online this is a really clean and nice store with honest prices so i don't know what's gotten into y'all man yeah man these us bourbon hunters we gotta do better man we gotta know when the store just doesn't want to sell you something or they just don't have it like here so just just be better, man. So I've heard this is probably one of the better Evan Williams in here. Aged in white oak, 90 proof. How about that? I've heard that I, ju I just I can't bring myself to do it because I drank this in college the entire time. But apparently this is really good for the money, especially the American flag one that they do during the holidays. Do not sleep on these. These are very good. 132.9 proof Jack Daniels single barrel. Mm. For all of my golf guys that are hanging out here, got the, the front nine, the long ball, and the black label. Look, this one's even got a little, a little tab on it. How about that? We all know about this dock right here. 75.29 Carolina straight bourbon, 107 proof. Certified South Carolina product with a little wax on top. How about that? Barrel number seven. They make one of the best doctors, They make a double oak? The 1233 actually makes a double oak. Really? Very hard to get. Very, very hard to get. You know what the price on those typically is? Just off the top of your head? I'm gonna say... It's probably close to that, wouldn't you think? Or would right. it be a little bit more? Uh, no, I, I would say probably right around that. Yeah, I've never had any of their stuff, but I know they're local. I love South Carolina products. I have to give them a try. Well, the thing about their double oak also, and don't hold me to this, but I I don't think they made a lot of cases. Uh, they don't make a lot of cases of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they go to a few stores, I guess, with uh, the cases they do have. Some of the bigger stores, yeah. I think they may have picked us. Um, one, we're, we're across from five resorts. Yeah, okay. That's their flagship. Okay. The big six basically was themed off of uh, the uh, prohibition in the cars. Really? Yeah, you had six pistons in the car. So that's that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Some even say the six with the six piston that allowed them to actually use their own product in their car. <laughs> and ninety proof? Ninety proof. Yeah, it's not a hybrid. Yeah. All right. 
if I'm not mistaken, are based off of Caddyshack. That's Bushwood Country Club. Now, if you look at the medallion on it, it actually has Be the Ball. Oh, wow. Bushwood. So, yeah. evidently, he bought the rights to that. Okay. Um, and then on the back, it actually talks about being the ball. And it's one of the best bourbons. If I'm not mistaken, you can look this up. Ruth Chris just picked them up. Ruth Chris? Yeah. Restaurant? Yeah. So, you know, if it's there, it's decent. I bet so. Now, I've it, never had it before. Right. So. And everyone's palate is different. So, you know, someone may drink that and say no, but it, it's pretty darn good stuff. I'm always skeptical of, you know, got to add stuff on top of bottles to make them sellable. But right. if, it's, if it's attached to a, you know, a movie. Not only that, if you look at this set here, what, what I'm hearing about the upset uh, corporate of Bushwood, um, they're going to change this bottle out. They're going to put, not the bottle, but the label, mm -hmm. because it doesn't have Bushwood on it. And what collectors are liking about these, not only are they good, the long ball is actually their single barrel. You actually get into this, and if they change that label, this bottle, because remember, these are brand new. Okay. This will be gone. So this may be worth some money just because it no longer has the Bushwood on it, and it connects it with batch one. Okay. Interesting. That's, about that? that's the reason, I, you know, I mean, when I look at, you know, getting bottles and stuff like that for my collection, I actually, you know. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what you're looking into. I hear you. How about that? I mean, because there's a story behind it. Just like mm -hmm. there's a story behind all your old foresters. Very true. You know, dealing with 1910. Prohibition style, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Medicinal whiskey. That Julie Van uh, Winkle was actually, I guess, Pappy or whoever, was friends with the guy that actually, I can't remember who, who Bill? Make Bill. Bill, yeah. And they exchanged recipes. He exchanged his Pappy's recipe. So they huh. say Maker's Mark recipe, if you look at the mash bills, a lot like Pappy's. Well, Weller's is a lot like Pappy's. Is Maker's Mark 46 a lot like Weller 12? I did not know that. Well, how about that? See, you learn something every day. Oh, when I sit here and I got nine hours, I'm sitting here watching bourbon shows. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, the miss. And, I no, love it. Oh, you know, how much of that's true. You know, that's that's the fun of the folklore of bourbon. Mm -hmm. That is true. Very nice. Yeah. That's out of uh, the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. um, the water actually comes from the um, Cascade Mountains. And they're actually saying, now, Hennessy, if I'm not mistaken, just bought them out. So you know it's good bourbon if they're now international. Okay. And you will hear about them. Um, and they're actually saying, you know, how good is that water in the Cascades? Is it good as Kentucky water? I don't know. Woodenville. Finished in Port Cask. I know a couple guys have done store picks with these people. It's, it's Washington. I, mean, I think it's a fantastic bourbon. A little Washington whiskey for y'all right there. About that. Woodenville. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, another shop down. Guy was super nice. Um, says he doesn't really get much allocations because they've only been open for a year. But honestly, with all these resorts around here, some of those prices that they can get to, at least most of his stuff is uh, pretty honest. So, on to the next one. Man, it's been a long day. It is now five o'clock. We only have two hours to go. And we're here at the 13th stop, Gator Liquor. I love the logo, it's actually really cool. Let's go see what they have. Elijah Craig toasted here, man. They're freaking everywhere. I never see these in Charleston. I don't know why. Never in Charleston, but they got them in droves up here. And then this bottle caught my attention. I don't know why. 114 proof with Lincoln's face on it for 60 bucks. Boundary Oak Distillery, two year, may contain sediment minimum. Kentucky contains sediment maybe. Interesting, I've never seen that before. Armored Diesel made in Kentucky, 80 proof. Yeah, I mean, Henry McKenna single barrel bond bond, 10 year. That one is it? used to be about 37, 38 dollars. And now look at it. Five years ago, wow. it won bourbon of the year. Yeah, before it won bourbon of the year, I'm sure people were one, loving it. To me, it's one of the best kept secrets. This one that last year at that price point. Mm -hmm. For me personally, you know, everybody wants to go crazy on the benchmark, which is Buffalo Trace, and it's yep. great. For me, pound for pound, Four Roses. Four Roses small batch is your go-to. For under 40 bucks, it's got a great story. I mean, the part about bourbon, like, 
they're all about stories. The Four Roses story is basically the the dude. Uh, this is like years ago when everything was very formal, and the dude like wrote a letter to a Southern belle and be like, "Hey, if you want to like court or go steady or whatever, wear a rose corsage at the next formal event." She wore a corsage with four roses to make sure he saw it. Now, just recently, which is a cool story. Yeah. But people, for under 40 bucks, like, I could put that in line with Buffalo Trace. Another good one, or I don't know if you're a football fan, that's Bradshaw. That's Terry Bradshaw's brand. Interesting. The 51.9 is his career completion percentage of the Super Bowls and the years of, to your right. But the 51.9 is the, the history of the Steelers. I'm a Steelers fan. The Steelers bar there. Yeah. Uh, the first two Super Bowls were run with uh, Franco Harris and Rocky Blyer because of the rules. Okay. And then Mel Blunt, the corner, they called it the Mel Blunt rule. Back in the day, the DBs would annihilate receivers, you know. Yeah. Just, they would just murder them. So they changed the rule. And then the last two Super Bowls is when Lynn Swan and John Stahl were. They started throwing the ball around a little bit. But now the word got out. And, like, people come and chase the, the, the make. I'm sorry, the, uh, I said makers, the uh, Buffalo Trace and the Blank. And, hey, those are great. Mm -hmm. They're great. But you gotta admit, part of it is the chase. Yeah. You gotta admit, part. It's not like Costco or Walmart or Sam's Club where you can just go to the store and it's there. Yeah. You know, it's not like you know any of these. It's not like Jim Beam, yeah. Jack Daniels. You go to the store, it's gonna be there. But that's part of the chase. Uh, another one I'm out right now. The Elijah Craig. Did you hear about that? Uh, did you hear about the Elijah Craig toasted or not toasted the uh, barrel proof? C923. We had them. Yeah. We had we we had like six of them. We got three, and we got. Th but that was the the, that was the one. That was the one everybody was chasing. Yeah. Another excellent, the Heaven Hill bought on bond. I agree. Pound is, for pound again, it, 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 and then folks want to point out, do we have the traveler up here? We. Traveler's Chris all right. Simple, it, it, it's but all right, it's, man. Well, it's forty dollars. Yeah. We thirty nine ninety nine. I don't know yeah. why we don't have any out here. He may keep in the back for a reason, but the traveler, uh, but it's a whiskey, not a bourbon. Right. But if people wanted to compare it to Blanton's, like, you can't compare a $40 bottle to a $100 bottle. Stop it. Yeah. So, you well, know. Blanton's used to not be $100. It used, used to be, be like, $79.99 when I started doing yeah, this. It was lower. It was much lower. <laughs> Eagle Rare used to sit next to the McKenna 10 year. It was about 40 bucks. No. No, don't tell me there was Eagle Rare here. Right, man. right there. Yeah. Oh. Now it's six or 50 yeah, I'd but we're like I said, we're fair. We're higher in some things, lower in others. Yeah. We're not like when you see that bottle of Blanton's for like three hundred bucks. Nah. Stop it! Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> you stop! You know, <laughs> just stop. It's gonna sit there and collect dust yep. until you get a guy that just he's been chasing it forever, and he goes, uh, "Screw it!" You know, because I don't know. Like a perfect example, I know what we have in the back, bro. We have it all. Are you kidding me? Yeah. We got it all. Now it's at the house, the, the boss's house. Mm -hmm. But everything, every anybody chases, we got. But I knew at one point we had a Blanton's in the back. And guy comes in, he's been after a Blanton's, and all of his buddies, he's never had one of his own. You know, he's had his buddies, sampled his buddies, he's been jealous. He said, I've been chasing this for eight years. And I'm sitting there going, oh, he's wearing on it. But he was cool, I, I but he bad, was cool, man. just like you. So and I'm like, ah, oh, okay. So then I leave here, and uh, back in the day, as a creature habit, I go to the bar right behind us, Spencer's, a Steelers bar. Yeah. And uh, of course, who do I see? Him and his wife. And I didn't meet his wife before. So I'm just like, hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. You know, blah, blah, blah. He's a tourist. All of a sudden, a beer comes my way. And I went, ah. Oh. I said, come back tomorrow. He was tightening the screws. But he, did, but he didn't know I had it back there. He was just being a good dude. Oh, uh, okay. He came back next day. I said, come back. I said, I said, come back and see me tomorrow. You got a Blanton's. Nice. Oh, man. I just got a knowledge drop. I'm having a stroke. It's been a long day bourbon hunting today. A knowledge bomb dropped right on my head. That guy's awesome, man. On to the next shop. We're here, we only have an hour left. Store number 14, Surf Beverage. Now, disclaimer, I've already went inside and filmed and everything, but I forgot to turn on the microphone, so now I'm having to redo all of it. So bear with me, okay? Hey, Bubba. <laughs> Yeah, so of course, you know, the mic died again, but they have an Elijah Craig barrel proof nine year pick just like every other store in town does. They have an old pepper rye pick, which is a little bit more uncommon for this general area. And of course they have Sazerac rye and other things on this particular barrel, but 
These Old Pepper picks are insanely good. If you're trying to get into rye, that Old Pepper distillery is the same distillery that makes the James E. Pepper. And, of course, we were talking about this Legion here. This price has gone down a little bit, but it's actually a really good bottle blended by Fred No and the Master Japanese Blender that I can't pronounce his name. They're actually really good bottles. If you haven't picked one up yet, I highly recommend it. For 50 bucks, it's a very unique experience. And then, of course, he pointed out this Duke brand that he claims he, he, he really enjoys. Now, I never had it. You know, it, I don't know anything about it, but I do think it's cool that they got the name and the cork and stuff. And I believe it's a celebrity's brand. Um, I'm not extremely familiar with that celebrity, but any celebrity whiskey you got to kind of stay cautious with. But at 50 bucks, it may be worth the gamble. Booker's. They got this Booker's up here. I think it was about 130 bucks, and it's also the one from last December 2023, and it is the Storyteller Batch. Surf Beverage. Great little shop. South Carolina has been getting flooded with Elijah Craig barrel proof picks, and a lot of them are nine year. I don't know if they're letting them go any older or if there's going to be any younger ones, but that store had good prices on almost everything. On to the next store. We got about an hour left. Let's see if we can get two more shops. Oof, man, stop number 15 here, about 45 minutes before stores close in South Carolina. Let's hope we can get lucky and find at least one more good honey hole here in Myrtle Beach. All right, we're inside TPC, and I found two really interesting bottles. Check these out. Man, what do y'all know about this Spirits Competition 2017? How about that? Cask proof. What do y'all know about this rye whiskey right here? 116 proof for pretty much 80 bucks. Double gold, gotta love that. Huh, I've been curious about these. Are these worth it? Let me know. You can see how it differs from store to store. 84 bucks here and 53 and 39. Love me some Barrel Vantage. One of the more expensive shops I've seen it, but still love some Barrel Vantage. Old Overholt Bonded, straight rye. Look at that old school label. It's sitting pretty at like 29 bucks. That's pretty cool. Since 1810, single season, single distiller, bottom and bond. Exactly four year, 100 proof. I mean, I don't think it gets much better than that, right? <laughs> and then we got this Driftless Glen lineup. You got the bourbon bourbon, but this, this is new to me. I'm, I'm not entirely familiar with this particular but straight bourbon whiskey finished in orange infused sherry barrels how about that man you know if you just squeeze this bottle really really hard you can actually leave an imprint in it how cool is that driftless glen look at that left an imprint you can squeeze it so hard pretty cool dude we spent way too much time in that last store we gotta freaking go we gotta hope Hopefully hit 16 stores today. We got 30 minutes, we gotta bounce. We are here at the 16th and final store in Myrtle Beach area. Let's hope they have something cool to finish the day off with, guys. It's been a long trip. We're about 30 minutes before every store in the state closes. So let's go see what Hurricane Liquors has to offer. All right, guys, we had a hot streak, 15 stores in a row. And the owner was inside and she didn't want me to show the prices. She really didn't want me to film. She said you can go see Hurricane Liquors on Facebook, but she said she's had problems in the past with people bashing her online because of some of her prices. Now I will say some of her prices are a little high. They're, uh, you know, especially on the highly allocated stuff. You know, she had Buffalo Trace in there for like 60 bucks. She had Henry McKenna for like 100, so. You know, I get it, you, you got overhead, you gotta take care of uh, your bills, and sometimes that's how you do it, but we had a hot streak. Store number 16 was a strikeout, unfortunately. But we're about to recap what we found today. Squat. <laughs> there was a gentleman inside perusing her bourbon section. I hope he doesn't walk out with anything, cause man, he was getting, he was getting railed every time he turned around in there. And then we got this Barrel Seagrass 16 year, 133.34 proof. I mean, $100 for this? I've seen these for upwards of like 300. 
So really excited to have that. Guys, this was a long video. Thank you for sticking through to the entire thing. The Patreon really helps support videos like this. And of course, the old Discord, join it. We got a thousand members in there now, and we're gonna do a thousand member giveaway. So make sure you join and check that out. Guys, I could not tell you how tired I am, but I hope that this in-depth guide gives you a little bourbon hunting advice around the Myrtle Beach area. Until next time, Bourbon Hunter, out.